Ahmed, studying in Kandy, Sri Lanka. Assalamualaikum sir, Walaikum Assalam. Is having bodyguards permissible in Islam? The question posed is, is having bodyguards permissible? If it's a requirement, and as long as they're not breaking any rules of the Sharia, then it's permissible. Even the Prophet, during times of trouble, during times of war, he had Sahabas who used to protect him, whether to call them bodyguards or not. So, having bodyguards is permissible. You know, there are many people who are not on the straight path. Gangsters are bodyguards. There are people who are hooligans their bodyguards. So if you are a gangster causing loss to the people and having bodyguards, then that act of being a gangster itself is wrong. That act of you doing something haram in the police, like you have caused damage to many people, you have looted many people, you have caused loss to many people, and you fear somebody will attack you, and then you keep a bodyguard, then that act only is wrong. And that bodyguard also, if the Muslim, he cannot protect someone who is a robber, he cannot protect. So the two parts of this answer, one is can you have and can the Muslim be a bodyguard? So, in, so if you are, for example, there are some dais who may fear that because of dawa someone may attack them. And that was the case during from the Prophet and the Sabahs. So if then you have bodyguards, no problem. Or, or if you are on Quran and Sunnah, if you are not doing anything wrong, and then you have bodyguard, it is, permiss it is perfectly permissible. Some people may say that, okay, you have, of course you have faith in Allah. But Allah says, tie your camel and then trust in God. You cannot leave your camel and then trust in God. So having bodyguard is permissible in Islam. That doesn't mean you don't trust Allah. But your main security is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The people who will protect you main is Allah. Whether through the bodyguard or through other things, that's different. Now regarding a Muslim, can he be a bodyguard? Can he be a security guard? Yes, if he's securing a place which is halal, no problem. If he's securing a supermarket in which halal goods are sold, no problem. But can he be a security officer of a riba bank? And the answer is no. Can he be a security, of, security officer of a gambling den? And the answer is no. Because activity there is haram. It's a gambling den. So he can't be a security guard of a gambling den. He cannot be a security guard of an alcohol shop. But he can be a security guard of a premises which is permitted. Of a supermarket which is selling halal goods. Similarly, he can be a bodyguard of a person who is not causing loss to the ummah, not doing anything haram. He can be a bodyguard of a businessman who is very rich and is earning halal, but he fears that somebody may attack him, no problem. He can be a bodyguard of a, someone who is a dai or someone who is a, a very influential person, but he cannot be a bodyguard of a gangster. He cannot be a bodyguard of a person who is a ruffian, a person who is called lost to the ummah. So both way, as long as you are on the Quran and Sunnah and having a bodyguard is no problem at all. It's permissible in Islam.